Okay everyone, well let's give you some sides now. It's Saturday the 6th of January 1996 and as I say it's FA Cup action here today so league form doesn't matter. One jot, Town might be lying 8th in the league and Luton might be well bottom and only scored 4 away goals but it's a one-off day. And here are Luton on the way forward straight away. Nice little ball out here to the left wing. Brian Law, whoops. In early and uh, in early and in late. And this might be the earliest booking that Brian Laws has ever had. Ah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, well, the old boss is making a bit of habit of this, and he's making habit of it early on, but um, I'm afraid I've, I've got every sympathy with him there. That's a daft, daft booking. You know, I can't believe it, because that is ed position. Ed exactly what happened a bit further up uh, the last home game. I reckon the referee's got uh, a referee's <laughs> union somewhere <laughs> on that lot. I reckon Brian Laws hasn't bought any raffle tickets for the referees union this season, that's what's happened. Whoa! He should have got more on the header. Here's Brian Laws, good clearance. Only into midfield, it's Luton getting in first. Nice spread of play, men in space at the moment. Run through the middle, but the ball at the end is harmless and goes straight through to Crichton. We'll give you the town side first today, shall we? Because there is a change or so in it. Paul Crichton, of course, is in goal. Brian Laws, as you see, is number two. Gary Croft continues at three. Peter Handeside is four. But Graham Roger comes in today at number five because uh, big old plug is out, groin strained, and uh, he was putting the wheels to right downstairs below the game. And I'm sure he'd love to be out there, but Graham Roger will do a more than capable job. Here's Jamie Forrester. Good little ball. Ivano's cross. Not away yet. Still in there. Shot coming in and just wide of the angle. Livo looking for handball. Paul Groves is skipper, of course, and number six. Gary Child, seven. Jim Dobbin is eight. Jamie Forrester, nine. Livo is ten. And Ivano Bonetti, eleven. Neil Woods, Nicky Southall, and Shaky are on the bench. The Luton side is in goal, Ian Fuhr, the uh, big American. Two is Darren Patterson. Three, Mitchell Thomas. Four, Gary Waddock. Five, Julian James. Six, Marvin Johnson. Seven, Pancho Gwenchev. Of course, a man who got a few goals against him a couple of years ago uh, when town went down to Ipswich. Scott Oakes, good player, is number eight. Nine, Dave Oldfield. Ten, Paul McLaren. And eleven, Dwight Marshall. The men on the bench for Luton are Richard Harvey, Tony Thorpe and Graham Alexander. So, two minutes of the game gone. Forrester, look high on the arm, nothing given. Johnson will seal this out. Town throw. Doesn't quite break for us. Looks like it's going to be a goal kick. And uh, the fella between the sticks, if Martin just does home in on him, I think the newspapers today were giving this fella out there as being six foot seven, and he looks it as well. That's a big goalkeeper. There are some big lads about at the moment, of course, but uh, at six foot seven, that's going to take a fair bit of beating. But having said that, that's what we're here to do today. And the Luton fans behind him at the moment. On the ground, probably, I don't know, three quarters full. Graham Roger got in front of his man very well there. This is Johnson, back to his goalkeeper, who coped with it very well. Stroked it forward. Well in. Oh! Looking for offside, and, yep, man was a yard off. Referee today is Mr Richards, and Mr Hubbard and Mr Pokey are on the lines. Or Crichton with a new uh, new jumper, of course. I reckon that's what Martin was going to say as he's uh, biffing me in the back. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty vivid. It reminds me, actually, I must get a pizza tonight. And that's as colourful as I come, that one. Bit of wind out there today, Roly, but um, in all fairness, a pitch in just about perfect condition. It's going to take a good stud. Might be a bit slippery on top, but it's as you'd expect it to be this time of year, if not a bit better. Well, uh, Groves... Are you going to make something mark about the referee? No, not yet. Oh. Uh, I'll save it. It's bound to come along. 
Uh, Crosby there showed him where the ball hit him on his uh, shirt. Uh, I'm not happy with referees at the moment, quite honestly. Uh, uh, I mean, as Dave will be with us, I won't be a manager for all the tea in China. Uh, I mean, when your job sometimes depends on the decisions of these people, they're absolute, uh, well, I can't, can't say hope, because they might, be, they might want this, but it'd be nice to have a good referee one once in a while. Yeah. But, uh, as I say, I'm disappointed with the crowd, John. I'm very disappointed. I thought we'd have had at uh, least five, I think you'd be looking to be touching five here today. But uh, having said that, it's, it's January, everybody's hard up, and it's freezing. It's a cold old day, it's a bit miserable old day as well, with it? it's drizzly, but uh, as you say, there are a few gaps about, and I don't know. Of course, there's a big corner there alongside the Luton fans, and I think I said it was three quarters full, of course. I don't know, I think it's a five and a half thousand crowd, this one today, probably. Yeah, well, you're pretty more optimistic than I am, John, but uh, of course, with Scunthorpe not playing, I thought we, we might have been full. <laughs> yeah, but there, uh, there is truth in the, there is truth in the room that Dave Moore is on the gantry with us, of course. Here's Benetti, knocks it back to Croft, and it comes now far post, but the goalkeeper's there, and that was always going to be his ball. Livo just making sure he didn't spill it. No, I think Livo was telling him to get up and not make a meal of it uh, because he did the last one. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I rate Lenny Lawrence as a manager, quite honestly, but uh, he was here last week watching us. Yeah. And uh, I don't like I don't like one or two antics that's going on at the moment. I mean, I I still think their play got lousy booked, and that goalkeeper, man, if he he's, he's just throwing himself all about. <laughs> well, I wouldn't argue with him. Though. He's a bit bigger than you and me put together. Not a period. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't get through our hatch, could he, mate? Here's Crichton with a goal kick. Netty, lovely header forward. Now Jim Dobbin just sneaked away from him. Graham Roger in tight and in well. McLaren knocks it off. Long ball and one that catches man offside. Certainly one. And six minutes gone, we have no score. Paul Crichton will take the free kick. Luton, of course, who came to Grimsby earlier in the season and drew 0 0 in a pretty uneventful game, in all fairness. Um, and they're propping up the division at the moment. But we, at the risk of sounding like parrots and repeating ourselves, you always have to say this is a one off game. Luton have just come here to try and get something. Town equally so. And it'd be nice if we could progress through into the fourth round at the first attempt. A lot of work to be done yet though, only seven minutes of the game gone. Well in. Very well in. Good play. Oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> Late in the rest, and at least the referee's consistent, but um, if Laws is ranked to Bucking, I don't know what that did. Well, he should be sitting next to his manager at the moment, because that was dreadful. David. We have Dave Moore with us from Scunthorpe United. Uh, thanks, Dave, for coming up. Ah, it's a pleasure. Just the, the first thing I've noticed about... I, I, funnily enough, I saw the Luton game early on this year, and under Lenny, they've gone to a 4-4-2, whereas last time they came and they played a 5 at the back, and Town had a lot of the play, but couldn't quite penetrate. Should make it a bit more of an even contest with them going to 4-4-2, uh, but obviously it gives them a couple more attacking options as well. And they've got good players coming out of midfield as well. I mean, you've got players like young Scott Oakes and what have you, who's been targeted by quite a few clubs in the last year or so, although that seems to have died a death a bit at the minute. Yeah, certainly he's built a reputation for himself. And up front with uh, Oldfield, they've got a lad who I can remember causing town a few problems over the years, scoring goals from midfield for Leicester, as I, I remember, I think. Quite right. Luton Town throw on the halfway line. No goals as yet, and uh, your mate uh, Roly Godfrey out uh, out there, of course, is Graham Roger, and uh, pity that poor old uh, Mark couldn't make it today. No, I tried to get him up here, but he said to he, he said to, he had to a treatment at half time. <laughs> so the, you know uh, we did have words about that, but uh, yeah, I mean Mark's been playing very well lately. There's no two ways about it. But I'd just like to make a word about the Benetti incident. 
is that uh, Bonetti has played enough games in the English League at this moment for people to know he is not a diver. As, as, as always a tight ball out there, it's a town throw. It'll be left to Gary Croft. <laughs> and now Paul Crichton. And you know, I don't think we've hardly seen anything of the ball much down this right hand side in this first half so far. And uh, Brian Laws now. Clipping it forward, Jim Dobbin. Whoops. I think that was rather ambitious by Ivano. I was just saying, Rowley, I don't think the ball's been down this right-hand side at all in this first ten minutes or so, and Gary Charles is more or less redundant at the minute. Yeah, uh, I think it's the conditions. Yeah. Uh, I have walked across the pitch, actually, and, uh, and you, see, you know, it, it might look good from up here, but it's very spongy. Yeah. yeah, I'd imagine it would be. A good stud should put that right, of course, but... Um, yeah, but you, you'll see as the game goes on that it will uh, it'll become a bit divvity and chunky. Well, it is, uh, you know, it is from the kickings. If Martin gets sometime, you know, when the ball goes out of play, you know, just down here, there's... Well, you'll see from Paul Crouch yeah. there that... Whoa. As, as you saw there, if Frank Bridge had been there, he'd be yelling out at Paul Crouch for kicking out a bit of ground there. Here's Johnson. I beg his pardon, this isn't Johnson, this is Mitchell Thomas, of course. Yeah. And if Rowley could tell the difference from up here, whoops, Jim Dobbin under pressure, referee saying get on with it. In actual fact, I don't know if the referee was wrong. I think Jim just dwelt a little bit on that one. Good turn. That was McLaren pushing forward. Peter Hamley side across. Ball still in play. Luton certainly got the benefit of the wind at the moment, and in, let's face it, it really is all Luton. This is Thomas again. Nice little turn. This is Gwentchev. Graham Roger followed him. He wasn't going to mess about. Ball goes straight out for a throw-in. Still no goals. 11 minutes gone. Mitchell Thomas with it. This is Oakes. Mitchell Thomas. Back to Oakes. Should hit this right-footed and deep, which is exactly what he's done, and too deep in actual fact straight out for a goal kick so town yet to show any real threat at all we had that shot that flashed wide at the angle earlier on but um, it was a flash shot other than that it's been pretty uneventful to our right Paul Crichton gets a bit more on this one than he did his last kick Gary Charles couldn't get to it. Livo did, and Gary Charles picks up the loose one. Forrester, good play. Paul Groves a bit tight. Peter Handyside now. Good run by Handyside. He's made space for himself in doing that. Kinetti to Croft. There's the ball back, looking down the line. They're looking for off, looking for offside, and got it. Uh, I don't know how Dave feels about this tie, but uh, I feel that uh, we've got to win it down here, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we had a tie over two ways with Lenny at Bradford last year, funnily enough, uh, with him being here. And I know that uh, if, you know, Luton will, will not be uh, a lot of teams in the league now, I think have got better away form than home form. And it wouldn't surprise me at all that, um, you know, if Luton have come here thinking, well, if we could get them back to uh, Canada as well, they would fancy the chances strongly. Yes. Um, as I say, I think it really is about one-offs and home and away when you're talking about sides from the same division doesn't make a great deal of difference Town goal kick from a poor ball 13 minutes gone, still no goals and Luton have not let Town settle at all so far no question about that Mitchell Thomas in well, Paul Groves though, squeeze that one out to Gary Childs, good skill by Gary, got the ball forward, Forrester, good play by Forrester, who was sandwiched, yeah, sandwiched out of it and well spotted by the referee, he was only five yards away, 
but Jamie Forrester became the meat there for a minute and Brian Laws himself looks as though he's shaping up to take the free kick. Graham Roger goes forward. The ball's hit towards him. He really is targeted towards him as well. It's out. I'm going to say the Luton players asking for a goal kick but it looked a corner all the way even from up here. First corner of the game. Ivano Benetti leading it to Gary Childs who um, with the conditions as they are probably the best bet. He's going to swing this as best as he can. Nice to the near post. Still not away yet. It's an up and under. And not away yet either. That looked like handball. Nothing has been given. Should go back to the goalkeeper. Poor clearance. Benetti picks up the loose one. There's the ball through the middle. Just a bit too much. It's a no. Well spotted by Forrester. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He stole that one out of nothing. Well, I agree, agree with you to a point. But I don't know how Dave feels about it. But I thought Benetti made that. Uh, he looked up and he put it in a, yep. uh, an area which, which created the chance and it was magnificently taken. Dave Moore, it was one hell of a ball and Ivano Benetti did hang on until the men were right. And uh, Jamie Forrester showed what he does and that's it. He gets in very, very quickly. Yeah, I, I did think it was a super ball by Benetti, but again, I thought Forrester had a hell of a lot to do when he received it. Yeah. Tremendous first touch with his right foot and then a lovely lofted... Uh, lob over the keeper, I mean the keeper's six foot seven and uh, lovely lofted ball over him, great goal that and that basically, and Martin on camera is jumping up and down because that basically was not offside and the linesman are a little bit keen on that decision, we shouldn't argue too much after quarter of an hour town go one nil up and in all fairness really I think that's probably only our second real strike at goal yeah uh, hey up yeah, but I thought he, uh, I thought it was good awareness all around. It, it was awareness was. from Benetti yeah. and it's awareness from Forrester. Yeah. And uh, you can't really put that down to anybody but a good goal. No, no the defence stood off a little bit, but um, we don't want to take credit away from the man who made it and the man who scored it. And as we say, nicely left by Benetti. He hung on until he had to move it. Here's Paul Groves. This is looking interesting. Great ball. Ivano Benetti, a chance for him. Oh, still in there. The goalkeeper couldn't hold it. I don't think it was. I think he spilled it under pressure. It's a town throw. And town fancy it now, obviously. Groves tried to get that to Gary Charles. It's live and up. Jim Dobbin. Gary Charles and a first real touch for Gary. This is what he likes and this is what he does well. Great cross. Men it off. Benetti was looking for it. Unfortunately then, I don't think Benetti was, uh, he was ball watching. He didn't see the man coming in, but the idea was good. Here's another one through the middle and just past. Jim Dobbin wanted that right on his foot actually, and it was a shame it wasn't. But uh, the couple of minutes after that goal, we've uh, looked a lot, lot more livelier. It's stunned Luton, and that's what's happened. Look at the length on this. Whoa. More important, look at the way the man got behind every Grinsby yeah. defender. Peter Handy side, making it look easy. Again, good football by town. Brian Laws looking for the runner, and he's found Paul Groves with a gem of a ball. This is good, good move by town. Oh, and a poor cross at the end of it by the skipper. Not at all what he meant, that was a shame. But we can start again. Brian Laws in well, gets it back, nice one two, two men there's a run Livo, just overran it. I think the boss was going for glory then, Gary Croft, Forrester, good early ball, back to Croft. That's a town throw if that's, well it's either a free kick or a town ball. He's given the throw. I don't, 
I think I, I think both officials uh, lost that for a minute. 19 minutes gone. And I'm not sure whether that was a, a foul throw. In fact, uh, the, the greatest foul throw I've ever seen in my life, you know, was down at the uh, Osman stand and it was taken by Dave Moy. You, you, <laughs> I've still got it on video. You've got to see it to believe it. <laughs> oh, outside the area. Great effort. Good effort. Just flashed past the post. And we stood off a little bit there, Dave, and um, the man was very quick to get the shot in. Yeah, just a little thing that managers say, you know, about stopping crosses, because all balls into the box, particularly on a, on a sort of windy day like today, where it's bobbling about a bit. And I think uh, Gary couldn't quite get a block in on the cross, and it, it splashed down, and the lad took an opportunity to strike it first time from the edge of the box. Got a good strike on it, but not quite on target for him. Thankfully for us. Ivano Benetti after it. He's got Croft behind him, that's where it goes. Inside is Jim Dobbin, he goes for the long one. It's not a bad ball if it's caught. Well, Luton got out of trouble well there. We've done even better now. Uh, well seen, but it's fallen for Luton once more. 20 minutes gone still, 1-0 to town. Luton coming forward though. Oldfield lays it back. Roddick, Mitchell, Mitchell Thomas. Down the line, Gwentchev, makes it onto the far post, Graham Rogers there. Only straight to the Luton man, deflected in and corner kick. First corner of the game for Luton Town. 20 minutes gone. Mm, Luton not seeming to want to get on with it. The referee's played his part, Mr. Richards. And I'll take the corner kick now. Town with everybody back apart from Jamie Forrester. Still in there. Bit of pushing and shoving. Graham Roger trying to get to it. He's held off by Oldfield. Ball out now. Town throw. Graham was with it. Livingston, back well to Brian Laws, there's a run. 30 kick. Straight through the middle. Header wasn't a good one. Gwentchev, Graham Roger off his knee. It's worked well. Jim Dobbin, Gary Childs. He wants a runner. The ball. Yeah, Phil, the ball stopped a little bit there, didn't run. Brian Laws with the throw. First is the man. There's a touch, and that's a good touch as well. Gary Charles. Great ball for Livo. Bearing down. Good effort. Well, sometimes you wonder how the ball stays out of the net, and that was driven along the ground. The outstretched arm got it, it hit the forearm and went over the bar somehow, Rowley. Yeah, well, I thought the goalkeeper was lucky because I thought it was rank bad goalkeeping. For a big man. Came in off a great throw in there, wasn't it? Lovely throw in. Gary Charles spun in on it, played Steve Livingston in down the side. He had the option of shooting, or maybe if he if the keeper would have pushed that out, Bonatti would have certainly put it in. Let's look here. Yes, 2-0! Livo's gonna claim it! Livo's claiming the touch! Well, Livo's claiming it, but I reckon Jamie will have a go at that one as well. <laughs> they'll, they'll scrap that one out and I don't want to put odds on it, but it was Jamie Forrester's shot. It came through an absolute ruck of players, Dave Moore. But at the end of the day, Forrester rammed it in. Livo, I think, got the slightest of flicks, and it was enough to beat Luton. Yeah, I say the great throw in. Uh, results in a corner. Corner comes in. Jamie spins on it really quickly. As you say, I'm sure Steve Livingston will claim that he got a touch on it. I'm, uh, they'll have to sort that one out in the dressing room, won't they? But, of course, going back to it all, it all came about, of course, from the move in the first place, which got us a corner. But we're not going to argue too much about that. The man's chucking himself a little bit against Brian Laws. That is a free kick to town. Brian was being pulled back. And it's 2-0 to Grimsby. It's exactly the start that we wanted. Childs, man coming up. <laughs> I think Gary wanted a call. Brian Laws. Left it a bit late. 
Now Luton might progress. This is Gwentchev. Nasty, nasty ball. And I think Paul Crichton did exactly what he had to do there. Absolutely, and I tell you what, if, if Brian watches the video, he won't be happy with his no, performance no. in that part. Because uh, he had a chance to clear that. Yes. Yeah, a couple of chances probably all in all. And um, just a little bit of a rush of blood and it's ended up with another corner for Luton. Luton's second. And it comes near post again. Peter Hand decide this time, they'll get a second bite at it. Well, uh, I used to do that on Bradley. Here's Gwentchev. Straight through the middle, and I used to do that on Bradley as well, actually. Finetti. Only really two men up in front of him. Nice run from midfield by Groves. The tackle comes in. And then Mitchell Thomas now. This is Oldfield who's come deep back to Mitchell Thomas. Nice little ball. Oaks. This is Patterson. Not Patterson in actual fact, the biggest part is Julian James. McLaren through to Oldfield. Nice back heel. It's not going to work for them. And now Ivano Benetti gets a job of clearing. And finds Livingston well. Nice turn by Big Livo. Still got the ball. Good play. Benetti looking to switch. And that is a great ball if it reaches. Gary Childs come in. But Mitchell Thomas had to be careful there. The ball was always going to give him difficulties in the wind. And he did well getting it back to his goalkeeper at the end. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what Dave uh, fe feels about... Uh Uh, Luton system, uh, Dave. They seem to be put. They seem to be a lot of lot in midfield, do not they? Yeah, they. Uh, whereas they had the five at the back last time I saw them with the two fullbacks pushed on. They've gone to four four two. Uh, Marshall's the threat out wide on the right, but really they haven't been able to get him up against Gary. Um, I think Brian Laws realised that they wanted to get Gunchev uh, out wide on the left against him. So uh, maybe consequently, his tackle in the first minute was to remind him that he wasn't going to have an easy day. Um, but at the moment it's... Yeah, uh, but fullbacks don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the moment it's uh, it's looking quite rosy for Grimsby at the moment. And of course by getting this two goal lead so early on Dave, we'll just let Fair clear this if he does, yeah. By getting this two goal lead early on of course it means that Luton have got to make changes one way or the other. Yeah, very much so. I mean, uh, obviously there's no way Luton can sit back and, and spectate anymore. It's a one-off. You say it's a one-off thing and it's got to be done today, so there's no doubt Luton will have to uh, come out and attack now. Benetti just loses it there. It was almost a very good ball by Jim Dobbin getting it through onto their left-hand side then a minute ago. Luton's still playing good football, but they can't penetrate. And the final ball, as you see from that, is letting them down all the time. Poor crime. 27 minutes of the game gone, 2-0 to town. Town's second goal coming, uh, we shall remind you, I think after 22 minutes. The ball holding up. Mitchell Thomas, long range. Look at the gap opening up, look at the gap. Gary Croft and thankfully Luton couldn't make the most of it. Benetti looking to take the man on. Gary Croft should go back to Paul Crichton now. Yeah, I thought that was a very bad approach by, by uh, Campbell. Uh, sorry, Mitchell Thomas. I'm yeah. thinking of Saul Campbell. Uh, well, look alike. And uh, I thought, I just thought it was bad attacking by Luton. That. They didn't make the most of what was opening up for them. That's what happened. And that's what they seem to be doing. Let's not hope with chance fate. Gary Charles did well there. He was always after his man. The boss got in eventually. Good play by Livo. Forrester wants it. Good challenge. Gary Charles and yes, offside at the end. Yeah, if it had come off first time, it was OK, but uh, the town players was committed. Scott Oakes. <laughs> Oldfield gets himself away. Long range effort, but well, well wide. <laughs> 29 minutes gone, 2 0 to town. Brian Law's asking the fans to get behind them, that's what he wants. 
I'm quite right. He wants a lot of noise. We're tuning a lot. We want to keep this going. Paul Groves. Gary Childs. Run through the middle. Onside. Jamie Forrester gets away. Half away. Blocked. Surely. Oh. Reiki Livo got that on the full and hit the burst and if it had gone in. Yeah, to be fair, great run by uh, Jamie. young Jamie. Uh, Livo, it was one of them, you hit him and they go in. But a good stop by the goalkeeper because, because he stood up. Yeah. He didn't hang on to it, but I don't know whether he could have done. But uh, <laughs> they say that goalkeepers try to make themselves big. Well, that fella doesn't want to make himself any bigger. And Forrest did everything right, and he got the wrong side, as uh, as we all say, of the defender, and that's where the problem came from. Up goes Livo, just a little bit of a shove on him, nothing given though. Gary Childs in, did well, he's falling for Luton though, Mitchell Thomas now, no real runners for him. There's one through the middle, it should be easy for Peter Handy's side. Forrester just tried to touch that out to the left side. Dwight Marshall. Half an hour gone, 2-0 to town. And all Rosie in the garden at the moment. A long, long way to go yet. There wasn't much in that one, I don't think. Rosie saying he thought he was a yard, I don't know. Very close one. Almost got away. Luton certainly pinching more than a yard at the moment. Dave. I think it's just quite interesting with Luton because as you say last time I saw him they had a sweeper and now that's they've been caught there where there's, if they had a sweeper and he probably would have picked up Forrester's run they're trying to play very square they're dicing with the offside I think maybe when you change from a sweeper to a back four it takes a little bit of time to, to get uh, accustomed to it yeah. and I think they're suffering a bit for it today Yes Yeah they don't seem at ease at all at the moment Oh good run, good run, a great ball Benetti bearing in surely Yes! 3-0! Forrester again in an absolutely brilliant move. <laughs> Benetti knows the, play, the part he played in it. It was a lovely ball that saw Arno on his way and that cross was perfect. Yeah, uh, I think Dave, you know, it's the first time you've seen Arno, but his awareness of everything around him and his vision and, well, I think you'd have scored that, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't have been up there. But yeah, I mean, again, they're trying to play offside. It's another marginal decision, but that is clearly not offside. He's broke away. Everybody's sprinting back towards the Luton goal. He's managed to pick Jamie Forrester out, and uh, for a player of his ability, that's a fairly easy side foot finish. So lovely. Very similar to the goal that Manchester United scored on New Year's Day, was it, against, uh, against Spurs. Man gets away down the left-hand side, drags in a low cross. And really there were two town players in the middle, it happened to be Jamie Forrester. And at the moment we're carving Luton up a little bit. 3-0 to town, 32 minutes gone, and this is first class football from town. I hate to harp on about it, but this is what nearly happened against Huddersfield last week. Straight through the middle. Forrester offside surely. And uh, really, I was just saying, uh, um, this is almost what happened against Huddersfield last week. Now we've got three. <laughs> uh, now, nah, to be fair, Lenny Lawrence knows all about this. And I think, uh, if we go in, if we go in 3-0 up, uh, I don't care, you should never lose a game from this position. No. Any team that loses or even draws a game from 3-0 up, uh, the questions have got to be asked. And the way the Grimsby's playing at the moment, uh, I just cannot say that happening. <laughs> well, well, I've drawn one from 3-0 up, and I've lost one from 3-0 up, so I, know. I better not say anything. <laughs> because I reckon Dave's talking about Port Vale, about Crikey, I don't know how many years ago, when his brother and him were probably playing. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll shut up, actually. Here we go. It was nothing personal, Dave, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Luton winning the scrap at the moment. Here's Scott Oaks. Nice, oh, but again, the idea of the ball was good, he's played it into the space where a man was running. But thankfully for us, didn't play it onto feet and straight through the pole. Crying, 34 minutes gone, 3-0 to town. Jamie Forrester, well, I don't know, Jamie Forrester might be claiming the hat-trick now, Dave. 
Oh, I think he will without a doubt. It's just quite interesting. Just let's see this one pass. I think it's quite interesting now that the Luton subs are warming up furiously and there's no movement at all on the town bench. Wouldn't surprise me if we see some changes at half time from the Luton lineup. Well, with what uh, 11 minutes to go to half time, of course, it will give Lenny Lawrence. Lord knows whether he thinks he can recover anything out of this situation. But he, I don't think he'll make any change until half time. I don't know. But there's Livo through the middle. Bit of arm in there, I thought. Nothing given. Livo on his way. Fiers hurt. And I'm afraid. Um, as I, yeah, as I've often said, um, big old Livo does tend to jump with his arm. I'm not saying with it intentionally into anybody and I think somebody got caught there a little bit and it's uh, well I would imagine it won't be Mitchell Thomas it was probably uh, big and uh, Marvin Johnson but it's a good little lead is this for town and everybody happy with everything at the moment Brian Law's in the middle of the park just issuing instructions to everyone now keeping them on the toes to telling them what is what And Lars Ball will go back to the goalkeeper. <laughs> Graham Roger. Gary Childs. Now Mitchell Thomas. There's a runner through the middle now, that's a man. Slight touch on it, and not enough thankfully for us. There's a lovely run from right to left. Should have done better actually, uh, I don't know how David feels about it, but uh, he made a tremendous run into the box, yeah. and the ball was, and we were caught, yeah. there's no two, we, we were sleeping. It's a lad Marshall, and uh, he, he can be very, very lively. Ooh. I don't know whether that was uh, needed, but he can be very, very lively, can Marshall, but didn't make the most of it, thanks. Let's see what they can do from the throw. Ooh. Corner kick, I reckon, yep. So I think Luton winning the corner count. They've been hitting all of these near post. I don't know whether that's a ploy this time. It doesn't look as though it is. There's nobody in that area. Swings it out to the penalty spot. Graham Roger, good climb. Completely miscued by Gwentchev. And into the pontoon stand. Crichton's kicking one. Let's not forget, of course, that Town are kicking into the wind at the moment as well. As you saw from that goal kick. Luton throw. Paul Groves. Run it well. Gary Childs hammers it forward. Forrester on the run. Straight back through the middle. Gary Croft decided to let the ball run. And he's, uh, <laughs> well, I'm glad the referee spotted it eventually. I, I, I just presumed he was going to give the free kick at some stage. I was watching Crofty going for that ball, you know, and it, it, it went in the air, and, and you could see he was in trouble. Yes. Uh, you know, with a swirling wind. He didn't know whether to leave it to, uh, to whether to go to the ball. Or well, the I think it was swirling that much. Uh, he just didn't know what to do, and uh, luckily the guy pushed him. Yeah. Gwencher. That's a ball through the middle, it's a nasty one again. Paul Crichton should get it and doesn't. It's 3-1. And it's that run again from Marshall, he did it three minutes earlier. And he's got in there ahead of a defender. And he's squeezed that ball past defender and past goalkeeper. And I don't know whether Luton are back in it, but at least they've got a goal out of it. Bad defending. Just, just bad defending. In fact, they have found an hole. Yes. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just like a chain, as Dave will tell you. Uh, it's only as strong as your weakest link and we've got they have found our weak link somewhere and they've got through twice now what happened Dave of course is exactly what happened about three minutes ago as we said Dwight Marshall made a run from 
the old inside right position to the edge uh, of the six yard box picked up the ball and this time his finish was great in as much as he got enough on it to beat both defender and goalkeeper as you say it's an exact replica of what happened about four minutes ago Marshall's great from the right wing he's gone right across and, and as, a, as a full back Gary's not sure whether to go all the way across it he's not played him offside he's ended up very close to the keeper the keeper's unsure whether to come this time uh, Marshall gets a bit better touch on it still we nearly had a chance to clear it but then he, he swings on it from laying down on the ground and manages to turn it in I know Brian will be very disappointed with that this could be four though Gary Childs would have been a nice little reply yeah don't forget we're still winning 3-1 I mean uh, it's not the end of the world but psychologically Dave it could be a, a bad uh, goal for us because you know we've been murdering teams in the first half and the second half they've been coming out and murdering us so uh, psychologically it's a bad goal yeah it's a bad inch. I mean obviously I haven't seen the games but what people tell me is that gunsby has been hammering teams as you say and not putting them to the sword uh, look like you'd put them to the sword there at 3-0 up and now you've just given them a little bit of hope just given Lenny a little bit of hope um, you know the next goal is the vital one and here is Oldfield on his way and this fella can be a problem that ball was just out the linesman yes the linesman has spotted it I'm glad to say yeah, a credit to Dwight Marshall I mean the lad uh, did his job and um, as Dave quite rightly said there the fact is what he, what he ended up doing was committing both defender and a goalkeeper I said at first it should be Paul Crichton's, I don't know whether it should, um, but obviously the challenge was there to be made by the defender, but we mixed ourselves up, didn't make the most of it, and after 38 minutes, Luton pulled one back, it's a scoreline of 3-1, and it's 40 minutes of the game gone. <laughs> Livingston, nice little toe end off, Paul Groves. Brian Laws whoop. not a good one Mitchell Thomas Oldfield Brian Laws in well Oldfield holding him off though good play by Oldfield and a good little ball dragged back surely away now Livingston lays it back forward now Forrester on the run being held a little bit Forrester did well this is where his strength is, Jamie Forrester. Town fighting for it now. Mitchell Thomas. Gary Childs. Thomas goes over. Only two in the middle for Gary. Bonetti is wide on the left. Still Gary lines it up. The man was coming in strongly behind him. And Gary just spurs the chance a little bit. It's a shame. Yeah, I don't think Barry had... Uh, I don't think Gary had uh, enough room for a backswing. No for uh, you know a kick like that and he had really no one to aim for in uh, in the middle so it was just an uh, well, just an attack well counter attack wasn't it really yeah. up goes Paul Gross skids off his head this should be headed back to Paul Crichton <laughs> 42 minutes of the game 1-3-1 one, one to town Not a good clearance by Paul Crichton. Brian Laws knocks it on. Paul Crichton will get another chance. Nicely. Benetti turns away from trouble. Good little ball. Can we get there? No. Luton pushing it forward. Graham Roger is in there. Peter Hamby side. Good ball, Benetti. Still Benetti, town throw. Linesman gave it to Luton in actual fact. Straight through the middle. Well, Paul Crichton should be coming for this one, and thankfully for us, the man's touch let him down. He put far too much on it. Paul Crichton clears. Back it comes, though, Graham Roger. 
Napoli to hand aside. Jim Dobbin, nice ball. Livo, Gary Childs. Oh, the left hand side was a man. Yeah, and <laughs> Ivan Obanetti having a little bit of a moan in Italian, I imagine. Good clearance by Paul Crichton. Paul grows up well. Graham Roger, good header, Gary Childs, through the middle. Nice flick on. This is a danger man, Marshall. And well pleased actually at the end of it all by Gary Croft. Didn't let him get in. Bit of a wrestling match there. Brian Laws. Liver after it again. Had a good first half. Now Forrest, who's had even a better one. Good ball, great ball. Fiers missed a lot. Benetti! Yes! 4 1! Uh, I've got to say it's bad defending. Yeah. I'm pleased he banged it in. In fact, David was only saying to me five minutes ago the next goal is going to be so, so important to this cup tie. And Luton gave us that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's... Uh, I think that's the... Uh, the oh, well, I would have thought that would be the final nail in their coffin. To be honest, I didn't think the keeper fancied it. I'd like to see it on the replay. I thought the keeper wasn't brave enough. Yes, I'm afraid I'd be inclined to agree. I thought that should have been smothered at some stage. And the ball crept through to the far post. Whereas all coaches say you probably should always have a man hanging about or something in the other. The man hanging about was Ivano Bonetti. It was on his left peg and the net, so it's in the back of the net. Good finish, but it was there. Uh, slack defending by Luton, and Town go four and up as half time approaches. Livingston. <laughs> and there goes the half time whistle. Well, it's a cup tie and a half rolling, there's no question about it. 4 1 to Town, and. Uh, well, I mean, can they keep this up for the second half? Well, uh, what I was thinking, though, just before we scored the fourth goal, I mean, David hasn't been here like we have, you know, all this time, is that normally any manager or any supporters would be happy going in 3-1 up. And uh, I was hoping that we would go in 3-1 up. 4-1 up's even a bonus. But, I mean, really, 3-1 up, you should be more than happy. But you've got that feeling about it, haven't you? But I think Brian and Kenny will have had a good talk in the week to the lads and they'll have put this right. Dave Moore, what, what's your opinions on seeing that as a manager? Uh, I think that Brian will be about 90% happier than he would have been going in at 3-1, you know, because 3-1, that next goal, if it goes back to 3-2, should it have gone Luton's way, then suddenly the, you do start to panic a bit. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, you do start to panic a bit because you've had a great lead and you're on the verge of throwing it away. Now I think at 4-1, I think, you know, that should add that extra bit of confidence back to Grimsby's play, and I, can't, I cannot see them letting it slip now. Well, I think that's three of us in unison there with their opinions, and let's hope it goes on for the second half, but as half-time comes, Dave Moore just wanted to add a little bit to that. And just, I think if you're outside the, uh, the Luton team, does you lay like cups and on sauces and everything on, because Lenny will be absolutely fuming. <laughs> Well, uh, there's another bloke actually who used to be here uh, a year or so back who might have been doing the same, but it's 4-1 at half-time, Ron. I bet he's doing it now, they're 3-1 down. <laughs> Quite right. 4-1 at half-time, all to play for on the second half. Right, everyone, well, welcome back for the second half. Our mate Ivano applauding the Finder stand. And uh, he and Jamie Forrester just having a good chinwag as they come out the tunnel. 
I didn't know Jamie could speak Italian, but he can obviously do enough to get by, or vice versa. 4-1 of course is your half-time scoreline, and Town kicking with the wind and towards the favourite pontoon stand. Can they extend on that? Mm, nice and interesting if we could do, wouldn't it? Here's McLaren. It's going to go back to the goalkeeper, is it? Yes. This is Fier. Oh, poor clearance. And not the best of balls to his player anyway. There's Julian James. Peter Handy side, good header, but it's only found Scott Oakes in midfield who switches it. Mitchell Thomas. Graham Roger very tight on old field. Of course, Graham Roger, let's not forget, ex Luton player. That's that ball through the middle again. Man spins away. Foul has been given. 25 yards out. In a dangerous position. An early chance for Luton to get something on target in this second half. Good popping distance. If somebody's got a trusty right foot or left foot for that matter on them. They should be having a crack at this. Let's see what they can make of it. There we go, laid off, deflected and deflected straight into Paul Crichton which was fortunate for us nice flick on it's going to go straight through to Fair though We're just looking around to see if there are any changes uh, made by either side we can't see that there are at the moment I think Lenny Lawrence has told his team to get out and get on with it Ivano Benetti and Jim Dobbin just not quite making the mind up as to who wanted that one. Peter Handy side across well. <laughs> and then <laughs> when most people would have just whacked it, Peter just tried to touch it on and touch it out of play in actual fact. Loot and throw. Julian James down the line, Peter Handyside is there again, Gary Croft, ball still in play, Forrester trying to let it come to him, and again, it's done well Forrester, laid it off Jim Dobbins, almost squirted it through, bit hit and miss at the moment, Gary Croft, Paul Groves, just pokes it into midfield, Gary Childs can touch this, and does so into the stride of Brian Laws, took a little bit of a bump, Lovely little back heel. Gary Childs wants it back from Livo. The man was tight to him. Oh. Challenge is coming in thick and fast. Too much on the pass back to Brian Laws. Paul Childs, uh, Paul, Paul Groves himself. Not liking it. Peter Hand decided in. Well in early. Going to break for town. Jamie Forrester. Oh, did well and was taken late. The referee trying to let play go, and he shouldn't have done. Paul Groves, struggling to get in there. It's Luton who pick it up. They'll switch it right. No Gary Croft. Oh. Squandered. And we, we've lost Gary Croft here for a minute. Um, could obviously gone into the middle. Paul Crichton with a goal kick, rammed well wide at the end. Paul Groves, handball given. Well, that's how daft you get sometimes when the new year comes around. <laughs> well, good luck to the both of them anyway.
Oh, no, no, oh good ball. And well claimed by Crichton. In actual fact, Oldfield was waiting for it to come to him. Crichton didn't allow it to happen. He went after it. Now Benetti. Croft goes outside. Forrester. Good turn by Forrester. And toe end off. Benetti. Shields it. Did well there. Gary Croft. Livingston's inside. Jim Dobbin. Good run by Forrester into the corner. Stretches the defence. Whoops. Town throw. Jamie just leaning backwards. Lent away from the ball too much. Throws taken quickly. Benetti. Croft. 50 minutes gone. Still 4-1 to town. Benetti down the line. Barry Croft is hammered away. Only as far as Jim Dobbin. Nice little header. Peter Handy side. Croft. He's trying to hit it as he turned to Ivano. Linesman's no idea whose throw it is again. Throw's taken taken well deep into the corner. Brian Laws struggling to stay with his man in comes across. Brian Laws is able to block it. Corner kick for Luton Town. Nice skill by the referee. Once again, only Forrester left forward for town. Crichton, easy one for him. Paul Crichton issuing his instructions. Gives us some real depth. To Livo, Brian Laws, Gary Charles, back to Brian Laws, all a bit tight. It's a good run there by Forrester, stayed onside, and here he goes. Benetti peels off back post. That's a ball to him. Uh, nicely played, he got away from the one man, couldn't get away from the second. Good play by Forrester. Town throw. Here is Benetti, good little back heel. Cross comes in from Croft, far post, two in there, Gary Childs! Offside has been given. Lies me on the far side. And Gary Childs has finished just scraping the crossbar. But it's a break of Forrester which is causing problems to Luton at the moment. They can't seem to pick it up. And he is very quick, very nippy. Now, this is Livingston, Forrester behind him. Still Livo, two men behind if he needs them. Lovely ball in. The last man took it away from Benetti. Three men around him, back to Croft. Forrester, nice turn. And again. Good ball now, surely Livingston just fell away from him. Luton getting away in a fashion. Blocked. Still falls for Luton. Long ball. Wind holds it. Graham Roger has to stand off. Gets in now. Gary Croft has to come across. And the wind playing the part out there. This is Oldfield. No support for him at all, really. The man is coming now. In town not picking up the men. Julian James couldn't do anything with it. Town's pressure does enough to put him off. Now, Gary Childs, who's coming to midfield. It's going to break for town. Forrester. Livingston. Still Steve Livingston. Brian Laws. He wants somebody inside and easy. All a bit too tight. 
Town throw. 54 minutes gone, still 4 1 to Town. Throw on the halfway line, Lenny Lawrence is up. Another Town throw. Picked off at the end by Mitchell Thomas. Not a good one though. Peter Handy side drifting forward, still coming. Good play. Wants to give it now. Finds Benetti. Good skill by Benetti. The referee got in the way a little bit. Brian Laws straight back. Paul Groves getting in. It's rough and tumble out there at the moment. Nobody really able to put the foot on the ball. This is Scott Oakes. Mitchell Thomas. Ball out. Ivano Benetti seems to uh, not exactly be limping, but feeling his leg a little bit. Ball should be coming his way in a minute, though. Croft goes outside. This is Ivano. Livingston inside, as is Forrester. Livo. Back it comes. That's a lovely ball if it's caught. And yes, the first substitution about to be made by Luton Town, which is uh, not too hard to understand. Off will come Paul McLaren, who hasn't done an awful lot. <laughs> Back comes Roly Godfrey, but uh, McLaren goes off, and in a moment I'll tell you who it is that's come on. Referee waving the man into play. Uh, it looks like we've got Graham Alexander on. Livingston to Forrester. Still Forrester. Look at Gary Childs. And Gary Childs saying, I wanted some of that. And you can't blame him. No, but uh, Jamie Forrester said, I've got two goals and want me third. <laughs> Well, he might be scrapping it out with Big Livo yet to see who got the three anyway. Certainly got two, uh, Young Forrester. Here's Alexander, offside by a yard, if not more. But you still feel really as though Town have got the bit between the teeth here. Yeah, um, I think, as I say, psychologically, if you've been here for the last uh, three home games, uh, you're going to have this... Uh, feeling about you, you know, uh, are they going to come back as well? I mean, 4-1, good God. I mean, uh, I've no, uh, I'm wondering how many we are going to score. Because basically, if we keep spreading this ball around and all that, John, uh, I mean, we are creating, we're still creating chances. Yeah. I quite agree. 58 minutes of the game gone, it's still 4-1 to town. And it's still very, very cold. But Town are doing the best. Well, both sides, really, in the fairness, are doing the best to try and uh, keep us all warm. Fierre's goal kick. Hung in the wind. Straight through the middle. That's going to hold up. That's, yes, I was going to say, somebody's going to have to go after that, which Peter Handyside did. I mean, you can see the difference in the, uh, the, the kicking between the goalkeepers now, can't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a monster of a guy at six feet seven. Here comes the throw. And well in. In actual, in actual fact, I think the throw must have been a foul throw. Town have got it now. Yeah, the uh, referees just uh, give a demonstration that the guy was about a foot on the pitch. Yeah. I, I, was, I wasn't watching that. I must admit, the throw itself I thought was good enough. And I wondered why everybody had stopped. That's how you do it. But we haven't got it away yet. Ivano trying to get a bit of it. Gary Croft. And again, he did well. That's a nice little ball by Gary. Here's Forrester. Ivano goes outside. Forrester cuts through the middle. That, oh! And Livo just realising that if he'd have put his foot out, he probably could have made something from that. Yeah, I think uh, young Jamie wanted Livo to run onto yeah. that. And, uh, well, it, it, it wasn't a bad ball as it turned out, but it was a... Uh, uh, I know Alexander Graham's come on and uh, 
it wasn't very good communications, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Here's Forrester. Whoops. Wow, good play by Forrester. Benetti, look how he holds it off. And Forrester. He's very strong for a little guy, is Jamie Forrester. Bowled over at the end. Bad ball. Could have been a lot better. The point is, Johnny was nearly free, that bloke yes. on the left flank. Brian Laws picks up the rebound. Straight through to Gary Charles. This is looking interesting. Hammered away by Luton. Jim Domino. He's still there. Ivano. Good shoulder barge. But it's Luton coming away with it. 4-1 down. They're still playing the part. Oldfield, who's come very deep. This is now Alexander. Not a good ball. That was a bad one. Clients to goal kick. Yeah, I was talking to Dave Moore who was going, going for some coffee. <laughs> coffee, John. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he was saying they, they, he thought their fourth goal, uh, the goalkeeper had a lot to answer for. He said he didn't fancy it. I'd be inclined to agree a little bit. We watched the game at half time and um, he half came, didn't make his mind up, ended up going with, it at it, with his legs a little bit as against his body and arms. And um, well, we took full advantage, didn't we? Here's Livingston, hand aside. Good play by Peter Handyside, nothing the matter with that. Gary Croft and Benetti wanted a call. Goes on his way, has to come back for fear of offside. Uh, showed far too much, Alexander. Oldfield. Good skill by Oldfield. Good player, this fella. He always was for Leicester. Here he is again. Gives it and goes. Well, well the and far too much on the cross and uh, yeah, the, the man took it away from the boss as oh, he wasn't there for a minute <laughs> Paul Crichton will take the goal kick about the only complaint of uh, sorry uh, uh, Martin wants to say something <laughs> there's no doubt only something obscene I would imagine so we'll carry on I said the only complaints I heard after half time was uh, somebody said, I see Bernetti's playing in gloves. I said he could play in my wife's suspender belt if he <laughs> wanted to, if he starts playing like that. <laughs> well, so long as you don't want to play in my suspender belt, I'm not too bothered. Anyway. Town throw. I mean, but you know, that is the kind of criticism you wear in the bar, and yeah. you can't believe it, John. Yeah, yeah. They make all the difference, don't they, them gloves, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and Martin on camera saying it was a foul, and I thought it was. Nothing's been given. Graham Roger. Well, that's what it wants, straight back. Put the defence under pressure again, make them play it. That's exactly what's happened. Big old Marvin Johnson couldn't stand on ceremony. Mad to knock it away. Town looking for a fifth, obviously. Benetti just gives himself a little bit of space. Croft has come into the space, which there is a lot of on this left-hand side. Benetti outside him. Croft sees him now. Livingston. There's a ball through the middle. We're still going. Jim Dobbin. Yes! No! Good save. One-handed by Fierre. And I think it was Jim Dobbin going through the middle there. Nice break. Town wrestling the ball back. Brian Laws now. Benetti, middle of the park. There's a run, and I think it was. Yeah, good football a minute, uh, a minute before. And um, and um, Jim Dobby nearly wiggled his way yes. through there. It was a good save by the goalkeeper. It was at the end. Yeah, it's one of those ones that Jim Dobbin actually struck well. If he'd have mishit the damn thing, it'd have probably bobbled into the back of the net. 
Gary Childs. Oh, he just wanted to see a runner. Julian James, Livo, getting in on him quickly, forcing him into the into playing the ball. Mitchell Thomas to the left hand side. Gary Childs after his man. Old field, nice layback. And straight through the middle where a man was offside. Paul Crichton doing the right thing and, and he's saying I wasn't going to do anything else and you can't blame him 65 minutes gone and 4-1 uh, to town nothing matter what Paul did then uh, Rowley I don't agree with you I disagree uh, completely he should have took one step back and held it and Gary Croft was saying to him you could have knocked that ball to me and I, I quite agree with him uh, I think uh, I think he was silly what he did uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll have to agree to disagree then on that one. Let's see what Luton do here. They've found themselves a little bit of space right hand side again. No, too much on it. Now, what I mean, you see, John, if he'd have took a step back, he'd have caught it, and then he could have rolled it out to, to Gary, uh, and we'd have been away. Uh, hey, I'm not knocking the clearance. I'd sooner him do that than miss yes, it, you yeah. know. Still Luton with it. Asking for offside and getting it. Yeah, Martin on camera just saying that the, the sting seems to have gone out of us a little bit at the moment. Well, it's under Old Trafford. <laughs> well, the score's just gone up with Sunderland, the winning 2 1 at Manchester United, which we didn't want really because Sunderland are getting away a little bit at the well they were getting away at the right end of the division as I say and we wanted to see somebody get a good clobber in and hopefully make them sit up a little bit now it's going to work in reverse probably right the longer they're in the uh, cup the worse it makes for them well probably so but it still gives them that little bit of bounce as well doesn't it but then that's uh, that's uh, another problem we want we, we want our own problems actually and uh, I'll be happy to have a problem in the next round somewhere the other absolutely <laughs> uh, and that's our next problem uh, is uh, if we're going to get Liverpool down here or somebody like that <laughs> and that'll be Tony Richardson's problem <laughs> <laughs> Paul Groves this is a good play by town Gary Croft straight through the middle that's the ball now to Benetti Ball didn't roll from too well there. Two men challenging him, and eventually two men getting the ball away. Marshall bounced badly for him. Luton clear it now. It's only as far as Graham Roger. His header comes straight back. Paul Groves, and yes, a foul. Man jumping at Paul Groves. Paul just having a quiet word with him. I think he felt that one a little bit. Jim Dobbin, Benetti. Still Benetti. Finds the boss. We've gone backwards a little bit here. I think, yeah, uh, Brian Laws knows what that man did then. He knew what Brian Laws was going to do and he ran into it. That was a foul. Sorry? I was just saying, Brian Laws knew full well that that was a foul. Yeah, uh, the, the, the Luton player knew what Brian was going to do. All he could do really was to clip it and to push it. And that's what he was going to do, and he just ran into his path. Anyway, number seven's coming up. Yeah. Off he's going, uh, Gwentchev, who hasn't been very effective. But if the linesman has given the throw to... Well, I'm afraid the linesman on the other side is, is not quite with it. He's, he's made about three bad decisions, but Luton are going to get it. Now, it's old field getting away. Nasty cross, Peter Handyside just having to push it away. Actually, the game's getting away, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah. It, it's becoming a bit stagnant. Uh, I wouldn't like to say I want them to score, because it'll make it into a right uh, umdinger. Oh, yeah. uh, but if we go down, yon end, it'll... I think the game needs a goal, but I know hopefully it'll be... Uh, I know it's 4-1, the game needs a goal. What a statement. But it'll be nice, yeah. you know, to... to it's, it's getting monotonous at the moment. Well, that's got to be cleared. Good clearance by Graham Roger. Benetti couldn't quite reach it and well won by Scott Oakes who then 
and Scott Oakes, who's a good player, did so well and then gave away a bad ball. Everybody crying for Paul Clyne to, to get that one away early and it is a good throw at the end. Brian Laws. Run by Forrester. That's the one behind the back again. In he comes. You can't blame him. No, well, I just said that before when he when you was having a go because he never passed to Gary. But uh, I think the game needs a Grimsby goal. I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase what I kept saying. But, you know, just to get... Because yes. I can't see any way we're going to lose this, John, I'll tell you. In fact, I'll even bet you a pint. <laughs> and, and feel that's a lot, I'll tell you. <laughs> Linesman not happy with a goal kick, taken with a rolling ball. Oh, 70 minutes of the game gone, 4-1 to town, and as Rowley quite rightly said, it's um, that little bit of excitement that was there in the first half has just gone, certainly as far as town are concerned. Might get it back yet, Paul Groves at long distance. Well, town win it but can't find anybody. Now then, Forrester. Gary Childs might try and take this man on, no, floats it in, two in there for it, comes outside the box, Gary Croft's available. Now to Bonetti, two men on Bonetti straight away, hammers that crossover. Gary Childs, that's a good head of Livingston, surely, 5-1! And that was made by a lovely little dinky down header by Gary Childs, and Steve Livingston says, I'll have a bit of that and he pokes it in. Good header down by Gary Charles, Rowley. Yes, but did you also notice the quality of that fast cross? Yes. I mean, uh, this is Benetti's strength. And don't get me wrong, the rest of the players did all the work, uh, you know, and it was a great header down from Gary, but the quality of the cross got it through their defence, and what a great, great finish. Well, we got the goal that we were saying that we wanted. Now Alexander, down to Marshall. But we'll stop marking again, Julian James. And again, man outside the box. And the overlap. Well in Brian Laws, I presume. Trying to make a bit of space for himself. Good finish by Lebeau, that turned away from his man, kept the ball the right side. And 5-1 score line for town. Now the decision is, is, is that trick or isn't it? <laughs> Luton still looking to get this ball in. Mitchell Thomas. Luton taking the time. Bad cross at the end again. Yeah, because at the moment, what have we got, uh, Rowley? We've got Livo with two, Forrester with two, and uh, Ivano with one, haven't we? Well, you'll say that uh, Forrester might claim one, and those, you know, it's a good pair of It's like the lottery, isn't it? <laughs> and. Uh, all I know is we're leading 5 1. And uh, all these missing people who haven't come, they've missed an absolute treat. Yes. Livingston. Just a little bit too fine. They're going to have to go back to fear. And also we're winning the second half 1-0, which is just as important. <laughs> I don't think we've told you who the second uh, Luton Town substitute is as yet. We'll try and fill you in on that in a minute. It was Gwent who went off. The man over there on the far side, which I think is number 13, is it? Ooh. Looks as though it's going to be unlucky for him. Town win it. Good ball, but offside, yes. Disagreement with us up here, I thought he was. Martin didn't think he was. What about you, Rowley? I didn't think he was. Ah. Well, the linesman, in fairness, with the yellow flag is poor. He's made a few strange decisions, and it, it wouldn't surprise me if he got that one wrong as well. Luton, straight forward. Peter Handyside. Gary Croft. 
Now here's Livingston trying to threaten his man. <laughs> that ball was bouncing badly, that's all Fier could do. Be very interesting to see who's going to get the man of the match award today, you know? Oh yeah. We'll talk about that, we'll have a... I think we might get Judith a vote. <laughs> Is that Brian Laws getting away? His cross cannons down. No foul. Somebody was looking for a foul in there. It was Oldfield. Town ran that ball forward again. Livingston doing an awful lot of donkey work out there. Just like that. That's a lovely ball. Let's have a look. Into the middle. Oh! He's just trying to get it across to Jamie Forrester. Paul Groves it was with a run from deep. Alexander. Again, easy stuff that for the handy side. So, uh, I'm just thinking back to my uh, days of youth. When we actually beat Luton 6-0 I think it was. And Tommy Briggs put four goals past the then the England goalkeeper Bernard Stretton. And of course we uh, we beat Luton a couple of years ago 5-0, we're beating them today 5-1. There's always a few goals involved one way or the other. Jim Dobby will take the free kick. Well Paul Crichton uh, is running round uh, the field. He wants to be on his gantry, <laughs> never mind about running round there pal. Livingston looking suspiciously offside. Seventy-six minutes gone. Five-one to town. Good little one-two there. Oh, this is good play. Can Benetti catch it? No. The idea of that was good because there's a lot of space for Ivano. I think he expected a bit too much. He can yeah. play football, but he can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> There's Paul Groves again, who's been everywhere today, really. Alexander. He took a chance with that ball, but he's got it right from one side of the pitch to the other. Poor ball again. That's what's let Luton down at the end. Livo took an absolute shove in the back there from, uh, from big old Johnson, Marvin Johnson. Nothing given. Scott Oakes. This is Marshall, is it, on the run? That's what he's done before, of course, that run. Alexander. Bit of pulling around. Yes, and the referee spotting it. Town free kick. So it's interesting, John. Uh, Steve Livingston. How many more they're bringing on? Oh, it's us. Uh, absolutely superb game again. Uh, he's absolutely a transformed player. Yeah, the gaffer's going up. Jamie Forrest, how many, how many is going up? Well, I think that, that's not a bad piece of uh, bossing by uh, by Brian Laws. He's taken, let's get it right now, he's taken, him, no, he's not taken himself off. He's taken off Jim Dobbin, he's taken off Steve Livingston Jamie and Jamie Forrester. Is that, no, Jamie Forrester's still on. I Kenny was doing the lottery numbers. Yeah. Um, Gary Childs has gone off, hasn't he? Yeah. And on are uh, the three men, of course, were obviously on the bench beforehand, which is Neil Woods, Nicky Southall and Shaky. Well, uh, you carry on commenting and I'll find out who's gone where. Yeah. Yes, thanks, uh, Rolf. Well, uh, Gary Childs has gone off, Jim Dobbin has gone off, uh, and Livo has gone off. Here's Ivano. Nice skill. <laughs> well, Southall's gone right side, up front. Uh, Craig's dropped in left side. And Woody up front. Looks like it. Well, can I think what Brian's in intentions are, Roly, with 11 minutes of the game left, is let's absolutely just slaughter this. Because, I mean, it's still there to be had. And he's put on three sets of new legs, front running legs. In comes that ball, nasty! Oh, 
Oh, brilliant, brilliant goal. Mickey Southall, his first touch, and that's exactly what the boss wanted. He wanted to paralyse us. Well, I'll tell you, John, I thought he was saving other three lads for Saturday. <laughs> and uh, uh, you can't knock it, can you, either way, whether that was his intention or whether he was doing this. Well, he might well have been. Uh, but either way, John, the goal's a bonus. Yep. And it was a lovely little touch, wasn't it? Was, it? it was. <laughs> and, of course, when you're slaughtering a team like this, bringing new lads on gives them confidence. Of course it does. Because they know as such that the job is done, all that they have got to do is to go out there and do their bit. And Nicky Southall, with literally his first touch, makes it 6-1. <laughs> A great roar for Nicky Southall. Town looking for the offside and getting it. Ten minutes of the game left. And it's a nice little ball in, was that in actual fact? And Nicky Southall got in front of the defender. Toe poked that one in. Paul Clyton's free kick. <laughs> Neil Woods can't make anything of it. Graham Roger off his shins. Foul given to town, taken quickly. Whoops, a bit tight out there. Fans of course saying we want seven and uh, my crikey it would be nice if we got them. But this has been a good out all round performance really by town. We had that shaky 20 minutes, well not shaky, you can hardly say that, but we, we went off the boil for 20 minutes so only at the beginning of this second half. But since then, we've, t we've taken hold of the reins again. Well ever since I asked them to score another goal, and which they did do, they've looked a different team again haven't they? That's right. Here's Ivano. Forrester, still Jamie Forrester, a great run through the middle blade by but we're shaky. It's gone to Nicky Southall on the right hand side. Still Nicky Southall, good looking cross. Let's have a look at this. Here's Ivano. Lovely clip to the far post, but he's a big man to beat with a ball like Absolutely, that. I was going to say, it's good job he's uh, uh, six foot seven, because yep. that was a quality cross, but uh, the goalkeeper took it well. Yep. Glad to see my mate Woody get one, you know. It's going to be a town throw. <laughs> Peter Handyside. Paul Groves, very sharp. Gets it back, or it comes to shaky. Paul Groves through the middle, look at the right-hand side. Nicky Southall, low one, nasty, surely! One seven goals, and Rowley just said, "I'd love to see Neil Woods get one," and he bobbles that one in. Now I wonder who else I want to score. <laughs> well, I mean, this is um, this is a the, car. It's a car. It's an absolute rout. Lenny, Lenny Lawrence will be thinking, "What have I took over?" <laughs> but uh, I don't think you. I mean, you can't blame the manager. Uh, the players have come against the Grimby Town side, that's, uh, let's be honest, in the last three league matches, should have beaten, uh, we, should be, we should be top of the league by the, the six points that we've dropped, yeah. and they, they've just routed this Luton side, absolutely routed them. And poor old Neil Woods, who, let's face it, been in and out of this side one way or the other, or well, not really in and out of it, but in and out of the subs bench, through injury throughout this season hasn't found his touch at all when he's been able to come on because he's had such a limited opportunity and it's lovely to see him get a goal there yeah well I asked him to get one didn't I uh, but the best part of tonight is going to be when you walk into any pub I know and say how's town got on they said 1-7-1 or something and they're going to go don't talk stupid and then they're going to look at the papers <laughs> Well, 
Well, of course, there's so many um, good fans of town all over the country, really, down south, up north. Let's see what Newton can do. And good fans as they are, they can't always make these uh, these trips as Newton put one wide of the post. They can't always make the trip up to Grimsby. And uh, I think for all those friends of ours all over the place, Rowley, who, like I say, can't make these games, it's nice to know that... that the video. That's it. <laughs> it's nice to know that uh, they can look at the newspaper tomorrow and see Town 7, Luton 1, and, and think that'll do for me. At the moment. Luton's corner. Should be away. Still in there, though. Goal kick. Five minutes of the game left yet. Yeah, and another thing to remember, John, is that to give credit to our defenders as well. It, it, it's easy, uh, you know, because Luton's had one or two breakaway chances oh, yeah. that broke them up. And to keep your concentration when the score's 5-6-7-1, yeah. it takes a lot of doing. Yeah. Oh, yes. The defence has played its full part. That's a town throw. Well seen by the ref. Now offside. Woods on his way. Oh. First going to have to kick it. Just wanted a shade more on it. The crowd today is 5,387 people. There's basically 2,500 missing from that who should have been here to see a cracking game of football. Town throw again. Nice knock on. Another chance here, surely! Oh. And Flair actually makes a save! One must bear thoughts for the Luton goalkeeper, of course. But no, I mean, joking aside, yeah. he hasn't been much to blame for a lot, you know. And maybe two or three he could have, uh, well, two at least, maybe. But uh, he's stuck at his task, you know. I mean, he's, uh, he's done well. It's through the middle. Let's have a look. Who's this? It's Ivano, is it? No, Ivano is left hand side. Paul goes. Oh! Well, I think the roof would have come off this place if that had gone in. Yeah, I mean, Paul's had one of his quieter games today for his, by his standards. I mean, he must be playing about his 170 consecutive game, you know. <laughs> I mean, what a record that is for a start. Uh, I mean, he's gone about his work in his nice, quiet, usual, stylish way. And it's players like him who, who supply the ammunition. That's right. Well, if, if the goalkeeper's time wasted, he, uh, he must need looking at 7-1 down. Graham Roger forward again. Goalkeeper comes and collects. And of course, John, our second dark critics can't say much today, can they? <laughs> <laughs> Dead, I'm glad they can't. I'm glad they can't. What a poor clearance. I think I think he's looking to save face. He don't want another one going in. To, to be fair, the lad ain't much of a defence in front of him. No. No. I mean, no matter what you say, you see, you don't want to take anything away from town. Because town, town have carved the defence open, but it's not been a particularly good defence. But town have done the job. Oh, absolutely, John. I'm not taking anything away from Grimsby, but... Uh, I wouldn't like to keep going in front of that every no, week. No. I think especially at five foot four. Yeah. That's right. Up we go, Paul Groves. Who's on the chase, Forrester? For town throw. Well, if this doesn't make me have a pint or two tonight, I don't know what will. I'll probably win the lottery as well. Looking for handball, linesman's seen it. It's probably a last chance for Town to get this ball into the middle. 
Graham Rogers says, I'm going to go for it. I want some of this, he says. Ivano's going to take it. Left footed. Brian Laws says, everybody get in there. I think Ivano fancies it. Will we make it now time? It is Ivano Bonetti with the free kick. No, nasty. Surely Graham Roger was the man after it. Outside the area, clipped in. And just wide of the angle. That was a lovely effort. I think that was Brian Laws. <laughs> lovely clip. Absolutely lovely clip. But what a cross. Yeah, I mean, I wish it had been a full house because then I'd have realised why we want this uh, Bonetti. His quality of crossing is something that you don't see very often in this league. No, that's right. But then there's been a lot of good players out there putting a lot of good performances. And Luton, for their part, have still tried to play football all the way through. But the defence has looked a little bit shaky. But for all that, Town have found the space, found the movement, found the passing to carve them apart on no less than seven occasions. Oh, nice. Benetti in the right wing. Or right back position. And there is the final whistle. It's Town's biggest victory in any form of football for some years. It's Town 7, Luton 1. And at least the Luton fans have still got the decency to go and clap their own fans. And for Benetti. Yeah. Uh, as of course do the town players uh, and let's just give you some goal scorers here Marshall scored of course for Luton to bring them back at 3-1 but let's get it right then Roly it was Livo with 2 Forrester with 2 Benetti with 1 that's making us up 5 yeah, Nicky Southall 6 and Woodsy. and Woodsy at the end of it all and um, you can't find anything to criticise in this game too much we might have gone off the boil for like I say a quarter of an hour in the second half but once we took charge again there was only one team in it. Well, it'd be cheerless to uh, criticise a 7 1 score, wouldn't it? Yeah, right. um, but we did, the game was getting a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say bogged down, and it needed that fifth goal, you see. And uh, Well, it livened us up again, didn't it? Yeah, and it livened us up, and uh, when we once we got the fifth, it was a case of how many. And let's, let's savour this moment, John, yep. because it's seven Grimsby Town goals in one game. Uh, it's something to save uh, and bring on the big ones now. Yep. Yeah, let's have a look at the next round draw. Portsmouth and back to league action for next week. But we'll, we'll all have a good night tonight, I reckon. It's Town 7, Luton.